Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be looking at a pair of blasters that I picked up at Goodwill that are both well and thoroughly jammed. We have a rough cut, one of the zombie strike ones, the one that's orange and I'm very fond of, but it is very thoroughly jammed. It will not go in either direction. The trigger is jammed. So we're going to take it apart and see if it is repairable. One of the downsides is if you try to prime a rough cut that's already primed, you can shear the gears. I don't hear any broken plastic bits, but that doesn't mean it's not thoroughly broken. It might just mean that the gears got misaligned and that I can simply realign it and it'll be fine. We will see. And the other one we have is a scavenger that is currently jammed. Um, it looks like, I mean, it could be any number of things. Uh, these are a fairly prone to jams, just like the sling fire was, but I'm gonna start with the rough cut, as I'm hoping it will be the simpler repair. So we're gonna get it open and take a look. All right, so it looks like it just was a matter of a lock got misaligned or the gears got misaligned. Um, pulled the barrels off, pulled the plunger assembly off, found the lock that was the problem, and now I have made sure that that lock is disengaging so I can prime it manually. I'm going to put it back together and see if it will work. Sometimes it is just a matter of open it up, figure out what's stuck, unstick it, put it back together. All right, let's see. Oh. And we're right back to where it was stuck. So. Where did we, what's, there is a deeper issue here. And this is why I didn't put all the screws back in. Okay. Okay, it's getting, it, the getting stuck definitely has to do with the prime lock. Because if I pull it all the way forward, that's where it's getting locked. Okay, so. I know where I need to look. I need to look up in this internal mechanism and figure out what's causing that to catch. So what seems to be happening is when the priming handle is all the way forward, it's pulling just a little too far for pulling the, the catch mechanism a little too far forward and the trigger is getting wedged in a place it's not supposed to get wedged. And I think this is the result of a slight gear misalignment. Um, I'm going to try realigning the gear and see if that resolves it. I adjusted the slide by one tooth. So that now when it's at its furthest most point, it's not pulling that forward enough to lock the trigger anymore. So we'll see if that resolves it. All right. Now. It did it again. Still doing it. I'm gonna go find another rough cut and see if they do the same thing and I've just never noticed. You'd think it would have come up Fascinating. So, an OG blue one, I cannot get to do the same thing. I can pull this forward as much as I want, and no matter how hard I pull on the trigger and push on the top, it doesn't lock like this orange one is doing. But, a green zombie strike one does. So, that's fascinating. Under normal use, it's not a problem. Only if you pull forward and pull up towards the top of the trigger can I get it to lock like that. And if you manually unlock it, it it's fine. This one appears to be working under normal usage. It's not going to lock. But if you push forward, 
you can get it to lock in that same way. And slam firing will do it. Oh, no, now we're just having issues. Yep, no, it's still... Was this one doing that if I try to slam fire it? No, I can slam fire this one. It gets a little... It's a little catchy. This one? No. Interesting. So it appears to be an issue with the Zombie Strike variant. They may have changed some things. Quality control not as good. I'm kind of tempted to swap the internals from a, a regular one into this one. That's interesting. I'm going to take a deeper look. <coughs> I wonder if I can prevent it just by putting so much spring in here that it physically can't go back far enough. That isn't enough. Or a heavier, thicker spring. Well, <laughs> It's still wanting to catch, but now this return spring is strong enough that it's uh, popping it loose. So that's something. Well, all right then. The, the trick is apparently a really heavy trigger spring. So let's button it up a little bit again and see how, how it responds to some slam firing now. So it won't stay locked because I put a heavier spring in there. And as long as you don't pull the trigger so hard that it locks while you're slam firing, you should be fine. Because this one will do the same thing where it'll, it can get locked if you do it right. Yeah, but you have to really be pulling on the trigger to get it to do that. And it might be a matter of the trigger geometry or something is slightly different, the trigger material. If you were to put something in there so you couldn't pull it too far, you could pull it far enough to release, but not far enough to get locked. That would probably resolve that. But normal use, it seems to be working, so. Interesting. So be aware of potential trigger locking issues with the Zombie Strike rough cuts. If you're having that issue, that's what you can look into. All right, let's take a look at our scavenger and see if we can figure out what's jammed with it. It is thoroughly jammed. I don't know if there's something jammed in there. I'm curious, so we're gonna get this thing open. Well, I think I found it. <laughs> there is, in fact, a dart. And uh, a Vowberry, of all things. You gotta watch out for these. <laughs> that was all jammed up in there. And look at that. Now it works. So, uh,. I like it when it's easy. It is filthy in here though. All right, we are gonna bund it back up and see if that was in fact all there was to it. I believe the slam fire is currently engaged, so if we cycle it, yep. We're good. All right, button it up. Right, well we got them both working. This one still slightly has the issue that caused it, which appears to be a manufacturing flaw in the re-release of the rough cut, where by if you have the priming handle all the way forward and you pull the trigger too far, it can lock. And then when you try to prime it, it will get jammed. Um, 
I was able to more or less relieve it, er, alleviate the problem by putting a heavier trigger spring in, which is strong enough to actually unjam it itself. You just have to let go of the trigger. So that was fairly simple. Um, you could probably come up with a more permanent solution by um, finding some way to make it so you can't pull the trigger too far. Adding a little bit of material so it can only go far enough to release, but not far enough to lock. So you'd want it to go to there, but not enough that it's actually pulling that, which is where it's getting to the locking point. So that's interesting. And then this one was just a, uh, a very, very jammed and mangled dart in the mechanism. Uh, could not see it from underneath and even if I wa was it was so far up in there I probably would not have been able to reach it with like a pair of pliers so the only thing to do was to open it up find the offending uh, object sometimes it's a dart sometimes it's some other toy that a kid's shoved up in there a bit of grit a bit of wood chip or something from a park um, but they both seem to be in good working order now handle is slightly bent as they often are but switch over to slam fire yeah it's working so there you have it some simple ways of fixing some blasters that you can look into often you're just gonna have to open it up and poke around inside so hope this helped thank you for watching